Right, quick video. Kind of an update, I suppose, because I keep ending up with not much time to do stuff, except for make stuff out of Kydex. Um, first of all, one thing I was going to say is don't worry, I'm not just going to spend every video from now on doing updates and showing you stuff I've made out of Kydex. I won't do that. But occasionally I'll show you whatever. And if I haven't got anything else to do, then I suppose I could show you that. Might be of interest to some of you. The other thing is the the YouTube account what was up re uploaded my videos has now been shut down. What I did I kept giving it copyright viol with copyright reports or whatever and I think after you do about three that's their third strike and then they get chucked off. So that's been chucked off now, so that's all sorted. So, I will show you some stuff I've been doing tonight. I keep ending up just like, like relatively late and either can't do stuff or whatever, you know. But I can, but I've been still been doing some Kydex because I can get away with that because it's relatively quiet. So hopefully in the next few days I'll do some more trapping videos or whatever. Or, you know, just whatever I suppose. Um, but I'll show you some of the stuff I've been doing, practicing on. And what I've made so far. Some of you might have already seen some of this. Because, well, for one I've probably showed it on here and Facebook. But some of you might not have seen this on here. So couple of the sheaves, I think I'd already showed you this one, I just took the, um, oh no, yeah, that's that one, yeah, I might change this later, quick release, buckle, but I might change that, really needs to be centred a bit more, I'm just adjusted a bit, this is probably one of the a couple of things that was completely finished. That is pretty much completely finished now. And that is a that's the Mora 510. That's a like a shotgun cartridge match matchbox on it. Belt loop. The only thing I might change is these bolts. Um, you could take this belt clip off and put it on the other side, left or right, handed carry, whatever. That one came out probably one of the best. The only thing is, still, a couple of the rivets aren't perfect. They're alright, but they're not perfect. And I think I figured out why. It's I, But this is what I think. I think I've bought rivets which are too short for what I'm doing. It'll just about work, but it won't roll over enough. It'll just kind of roll over near enough. Not quite flat, but not, you know, not the other side, not thick. So I'm going to order some more eyelets rivets. So that's that one. This is one I'm halfway through. Thought I'd give one of those a go. So that's a folded, that's a one piece folded over one. And then I made this one. I still need to sand this and finish it off a bit more. It's got, this one's got just a slight bend on the end. Not that it makes a difference because the blade comes to where that hole is. And that's for the more uh, companion or a clipper will fit in it as well. Just gotta finish that off a bit. Couple of other things. That's oh actually that's a what was that for? Oh that's the other belt loop for this one. So I might swap that over for that and then that'll go more like that. Just made this tonight. So like a um tin holder and you 
tins in there. Quite tight this one. That goes in there. And then the funny thing is this one is actually my favourite thing. I'm going to make some more of these. I never knew this is what it was called. I only found out the other day that this thing I've made for this sheaf is called a Baldrick rig. Now, obviously I didn't make the leather sheaf because this is my condor sheaf, but this is what they call a Baldrick rig or a shoulder carry rig. So you see it's two bits of kydex in the shape of a U. It's got an eyelet there, there, one there and there. So I did actually do one in the middle thinking that I could put a bit of string coming down but then realised once I'd done it that's in the way. And then this bit is bolted across your belt loop of your knife. It's got a quick release clip. And you wear this over your shoulder like that and carry it there. Because the funny thing is, to be honest, I actually don't like carrying a knife on a belt. Especially if it's cold weather and you've got a big jacket on, you've got to keep trying to get in there. If I'm in the woods, I think I'd rather, even if this was underneath the jacket, I'd rather have it less because I can just pull it around to the front, pull it out, put it in. And this should be universal, because you just undo this one, undo this, take it out, and then put whatever your knife you want back on this again. Now it might seem weird that you could just tie a bit of string on there, but I used to do that, and this is, you'd be surprised, way better. What I was thinking of was attaching it somehow to there like that, or something. So that when you lean forward, because that's one bit will do, when you lean forward it will go forward. But if you're not too bothered about that. That's probably my favourite. It's the simplest. That's probably actually my favourite thing I've made out of Kydex so far. I'm going to make some more of these and I'm definitely going to use this when I go down the woods. More than likely I'm gonna make well I'm gonna make some more of everything. I'm gonna keep practicing until I get good with it. But um this is another kind of thing that I'd probably carry as well. A small tin. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have to adjust this. I could probably still make this fit on any belt, but I'll just have to make the loops come up like this. But I might make these wider next time. I'm gonna put belt loops on it so you can wear that on your belt. Alright, so that's Oh, and I've made one other thing as well, but it's not here at the minute. Um, so that's pretty much that. I've got the account shut down, and I've been practicing with Kydex. But like I said, don't worry, I'm not just going to keep doing videos about Kydex. You know, I will do some videos. Once I get a bit better, I'll definitely show you, if you want, how to make one of these without a doubt. I'll definitely show you how to make one of those. Um, you could probably make, if you could get black HDPE, because this doesn't really need any moulding, it's just cutting shapes out, so anyone could do this one. Definitely show you how to make one of those. So more than likely when I get better with the tin holder, we can make one of those. I've showed you how to make a knife, if you want to know, you know, if you want to, or how I make one, if you want to know, or tell me to try any other things. We could always try it, and if they work, they work. Like I said, I still need to get my rivets a bit better though. But I think I've figured out what that was. So, I think that's enough for that. So, cheers for watching. And hopefully I'm going to start getting more time later on and start doing some more stuff. So, cheers for watching, and I'll see you later.